Hello Prime Coders, welcome back to Prime Coding channel. I am Aditya Mishra and in today's video, I will be talking about TCS NQT 2025 timeline when it gonna happen because I am receiving great number of questions from your side that it be Topmate, Telegram, Instagram, WhatsApp, anywhere I am just getting sir when is the phase 2 of TCS NQT 2025 which we called it as off campus as well. And another part which is one of the important which is TCS tag exam. Yes, I know right after 10 days, 12 days, you might be having your TCS tag exam and how you can prepare. Because the level of TCS tag exam is not easy. It is of the certain level. We'll discuss everything in this particular video. So this video will consist of examination pattern as well as dates and the cutoffs. Okay, so let, let us see the TCS tag exam. Uh, thing which is round one and round two sometime some of the people got a uh, TCS tag mail right after round one and some people uh, will get or will got the uh, DCS tag right after round two do let me know when you go get this TCS tag exam right after round one or round two in the comment section below okay so let's speak about the exam pattern so I also uploaded a video at 3 or 4 p.m. today where multiple people have confusion that in that video, I have not mentioned this is 2024, but actually this screenshot is called 2024 TAD exam, not a 2025 TAD exam, which I meant to say and people took it in another manner, but not a problem. Let's compare it. The biggest change is like here you can see in this particular screenshot, it is of 90 minute and earlier it would be of 190 minute where everything is there as TCS NQT exam. Isn't it like numerical, verbal, reasoning and advanced quantitative reasoning ability, advanced coding and stuff. Previously in TCS TAD, the pattern is same or I would say similar to TKS and QT exam as well. But here I can tell you is uh, thank you for attending Code Vita season 12. Round 1 is there. So as a next step, what you can do is require to undergo an in-person test where I own center. So it is an offline exam okay people who have qualified with n number of techniques in online exam now you need to appear on the offline exam center and the exam on the 31st so 31st is your examination day so the duration would be 90 minute and the biggest change is it has only the coding question that you need to solve in 90 minute and i believe there would be two to three question okay because the question clarity is still not been disclosed but yes if you know do let me know in the comment section but as far as i know it is a one hour 30 minutes so definitely it would be either one problem or it would be either two problem it can be three but typically it would be two okay so think like that otherwise if the question is of big and long storytelling it would be only one question for you all now multiple people do ask me Aditya, how I can prepare it. I need to prepare in such a way that I will be able to crack digital role or ninja role, any of the role through TCS tag exam. Yes, you are right. You should crack it because it is a, a lot of time is still left for TCS and QT off campus. We'll let you know the timing as well. So let's have a look on the coding sheet, which I prepared as on the screen. You can see TCS coding sheet. Okay. I created this sheet in September or August, I believe, but I have appended few more new questions, but I know this sheet has all the easy medium question of lead code. Okay. Easy, which means all the type of TCS and QT question do consider as easy lead code problem. But these questions have easy to medium level uh, lead code problems. Why I am mentioning this is because the TCS tag exam is typically higher the level of TCS and QT exam. Okay, it is not the similar level. It might be you are able to, it might be there will be two questions. The first question you can easily solve, but the second question need a lot of brainstorming. Or if it is only one problem, you need to do a lot of brainstorming. Okay. So I know these questions are totally exact questions that you, what you need to do. If you know the technique, then only you will be able to do. But the beauty of this coding sheet is the link is totally given. If that question needs to be more uh, elaborated. I have mentioned uh, the source link as well, which you can click and access those questions right away. Okay, so it has good amount of question. If you want to give a try so that so that you will get to know that how much you have prepared, you can give a good try on it because all your data structure would be brushed up thoroughly, isn't it? Now I will tell you what you can do. 
what you can do for story based questions because we know i know everywhere in tcs and qt every time they will be asking the theory based question a lot like a full story that you need to figure it out so this is called as uh, a to oj list which you can follow i have clicked on code forces rating less than 1300 don't be afraid i know people do get afraid from code forces link but the beauty of code forces is every question every question is written in a such a manner that you need to find what is the exact pattern has been used inside what would happen or how you can figure out what you need to apply okay so this is the same pattern that you can expect now this is at some tricky manner that you need to submit like how you need to submit you just need to choose the language in which you are uh, writing the code then you create the file in your local system then upload it and just click on submit then you will be able to otherwise you can click on submit button and it may yeah it is showing you to write the pseudo code or, or write the code whatever you know you can just write and submit it it will take few seconds and it will give you the response accordingly isn't it so please uh, try to follow this particular a to oj list it would be fantastic and slowly increase your uh, thing because right now i clicked on this particular thing which is less than 1300 now if you have able, if you are able to solve 10 to 15 question in less than 1300 which means your basic with storytelling has been done now you can proceed with the higher rating questions okay it will help you in two manner first of all it will help you to prepare for tcs tag and the another part you will prepare for tcs rqt off campus as well as well as the for off campus placements too so this would be the best shot now you may say aditya how i can find this coding sheet which you shown and where i can find this link so for for the coding sheet i have already uploaded on my uh top mate account you can find in the description below or in the comment pin comment okay so tcs tag exam will be coding exam sheet is already there which means the sheet and for this i will be giving in the comment section pinned comment section my top mate as well as this so that you can handily you can uh, redeem both of them and you will start your practice now let's talk about if you want to apply off campus how you can get it Be before applying it you know what actually questions would be asking to you so any company that you are aiming to you can just search here according to the company that you want to get it to the expert will guide you up and let's say if you are looking for referral yes i need referral so you have two ways one if you are a hustler you can click on referral in 5 minute find the respective person whom you are looking for, for referral in a respective company let's say i want referral in service now so gaurav roy is one of the expert who is currently a referring candidate in his organization okay let's say i am not able to find any any of my uh, company representative here so what i can do i can uh, click on referral by company fill up your details ask for referral like uh, what profile you are looking for referral what is the job id email your message like everything has been justified everything so you can write it here send a message and within 24 hours someone will be reaching out to you so that you can get your referral and let's say anyone is costing something or something so what you can do is you can use aditya hyphen 20 coupon code you can find in the description so that you will get straight 20% discount on any of the thing let it be mock session let it be anything and let's say if you are not an hustler so what you can do you can just paste the link copied from the linkedin uh, job post then it will sense that particular post whether it is a uh, genuine or not but yes this link is genuine that's why it is showing up as data science it done has been uh, uh, looking for sony is looking for data science term so these are the expert who is actively referring candidate so you can take help of this all the link will be in the description do check that out now let's how over tcs nqt thing so on the screen you can see tcs nqt exam which is one of the trendy topic i would say upgraded on campus notification okay let let us tackle this one by one so this means is first of all the students who want to upgrade their tcs nqt profile isn't it upgrade their tcs nqt profile they need to wait for their tpo message because tpo will send you the particular a uh, link where you where you need to apply using that because if you apply through off campus and tpo has not been submitted your detail to the particular organization then your application will be duplicated and you may lose something so please before applying in off campus ask your tpo whether this is for us or you will be sharing me something if your tpo says okay you can apply in off campus then go for it you can totally apply but firstly ask for tpo before applying in tcs off campus registration okay now in 2024 what actually happened is in january or february the tpo has sent for the upgradation form like where all the students who got placed either on digital ninja they need to uh, 
fill that form, that upgradation form, that then then all the tests would be similar as off campus Pan India exam that they need to go through. But their profile would be upgraded if they got shortlisted for the respective profile which they are aiming for, isn't it? But here I am talking about March off campus registrations, which means previously February it is totally for the upgradation forms. Okay, upgradation forms were was being circulated, and in March. TCS has announced for off-campus uh, registrations is open. Okay, off-campus registrations were open in March, where everyone need to fill the detail. And in April end, and in April end, the NQT exam begins. Okay, here you can see April end, NQT exam has been uh, flagged off, and till uh, June mid it was going on. Okay, then slowly whoever wrote the first shift, second shift, they got their interview mails or their result by June. last week okay so after that it takes months two months to get a interview call at a specific center but yes the result will be declared within one month right after your exam so this is the total nqt timeline if i summarize in few lines wait for march you will be end up having your everything in march off campus thing but let's say if you were looking for upgrade you should be uh, totally dependable on your tpo ask for the things like what is actually running sir when it will come he will let you know when it is the tentative dates and if i talk about load because many people in fomo or they don't have patience they are going and writing tcs and qt paid which is of no use because whoever is writing if they are writing for practice that is another thing but people are thinking that they may get a digital role prime role ninja role if you write tcs and qt and that see for that i already created a video which means don't take a tcs paid exam you can just write a tcs paid exam prime coding you will get that video and watch there i totally break down all the problems if you write this exam because these uh, nqt paid exam has nothing to ninja digital profile okay they will not hire for that they will open a portal where you need to apply to the respective company which is not at all technical either they would be support or either they will customer service and something so please if you are practicing then it's your call otherwise please uh, don't write for digital ninja prime because in my vision no one gets shortlisted on the respective profiles okay now if you see on the screen this is how was the question quality it is 4.72 what would you recommend your colleagues and how much you are satisfied and read your resume review and did the mentor clear all your doubts which means this is are the feedbacks from the 97 responses which we tackled uh, previous month pre previous month where people got shortlisted in the respective company let it be tcs let it be infosys deloitte and uh, cognizant capgemini and much more so i used to circulate everything to take the rating from the mentors who is taking and the mentors are from uh, top product based companies as well and i will be also there who will like i have 400 hours of 300 hours to 400 hours of experience of mentoring people for tcs and qt specifically so everything is dependable upon the uh, corresponding availability of the mentors so yes you will be get placed because this is this mock interview it's not an ordinary mock interview we will be tackling with you more than 2 hours if it is required and the minimum bond would be 60 minutes okay we'll test you everything will related to your core your resume your communication will give you detailed feedback will give you a resume review and after the call itself will give you again resume review if your resume is still lagging then will let you know how you can overcome from your mistake how you need to study what resources that you need to see everything okay first of all we'll take your mock interview then only we'll proceeding with all of these things and personalized doubt solving mentorship guidance you name it and you will get in this particular session so for that you just need to go on www.primecoding.in there will transform your interview opportunity to the offer letter so that you can make your parents proud so all the links which i said would be in the description or in the pin comment please go and do needful we'll meet you with a new video please consider subscribing this channel like this video and share with your friends so that your friends can also get to know about tcs tar exam as well as the update on tcs nqt exam see you off